Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life channel. The purpose here, as always, is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I'm going to do something just a, a little bit different in video format. I'm going to share with you a story from this weekend that is a very interesting psychic connection story. I'm also going to give you a book recommendation. Okay, so I have been working on leaning into my retreat is coming up. I usually do a retreat in the fall every year. The last three years I've done one focused on purple magic related to prints in the afterlife. And that's coming up in two weeks, so in person. Pretty excited about that. And then I've also been working on getting the virtual version of that, an online retreat for Purple Magic for Prince Fam to be able to have the experience for themselves at their own pace. It's really kind of a cool option. And so I'm working on the virtual retreat, getting it ready to open up for registration. And as I'm doing that, on Friday, it was Friday the 13th and a full moon and Purple Friday. So because of my connection with Prince in the Afterlife, I like to celebrate Fridays as Purple Friday and things that are inspiring to us and inspiring our spirit as Prince is part of the reason why Above Life Channel even exists. Without him, I can't say that this would even be here because Three and a half years ago, if you would have told me that I'd be channeling dead celebrities and sharing their incredible inspirational insights from the afterlife, I would have told you that you were crazy. So here we are. <laughs> so I decided I was really, I was really inspired to all of a sudden <laughs> to listen to or read the Most Beautiful, which is a book by Maite Garcia, Prince's First Wife. Now, I have been working with Prince people for a couple of years now, and when her book originally came out, everybody was talking about it, and I really have never been someone that, I've never been an avid reader, and whenever it comes to channeling or psychic work or even spiritual development, it's very rare that I would read a book because when I get my channeling and my messages and my information, I want it to be really pure. And I want to be able to process and digest it in a way that works for me and my spirit, not through someone else's lensing, not through someone else's filters and perceptions. So I usually try not to do that. I don't read books about the people that I, I channel unless I'm like super duper inspired to do that. And all of a sudden, it's like a switch went off on Friday that today is the day that you can read the book, that you're gonna read the book. And I'm like, I am, that's exactly what I wanna do. And it turns out that the week before that, I actually was invited into an online book club, which I thought, huh, I had set myself a goal this year to read for the first time, read like five books. I thought it'd be something, you know, some inspiring books, some Brene Brown perhaps, and that kind of thing. And so, I didn't necessarily expect to be reading this book. And so I, I downloaded for the first time ever, I joined Audible, which is through Amazon. I'm gonna put a link below because if you're not a reader and you're not a reader because it takes a lot of time to just sit and read a book or you get headaches like me, I have ocular albinism, so my eyes are super sensitive. They get really tired easy and it's hard to read for long periods of time whether it's on a Kindle or an actual paper book, which I love to hold the paper books, you know, something about that, you know? And I just decided, I said, yes, I'll join this book club. I've been thinking about listening to audiobooks for months now. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna join Audible and read books. And the first week, it hasn't even been a week when I'm recording this video. And I've done three books. I've been through three entire books. <laughs> Three. Wow. So, The Most Beautiful by Maite Garcia was one of those books. And I just, it just felt like right alignment, perfect timing, as I'm going to be opening the registration for the virtual online aspect of, of the retreat experience that I offer, right? So, I read, I start reading the book, 
I'm, try, I'm gonna try to remember you guys, all the little idiosyncrasies, all the cool alignments that happen. So I start to read the book and it's Friday. I'm trying to remember something happened in the beginning when I read, when I started to read the book. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> I, oops, that was my little dog, Diamond. Hey, Diamond, shh, 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 quiet. It's okay, it's okay. So I start to read the book, listen to the book, and I, get, I start to get into it. And as I'm going through the book, all of these things that I had channeled and had little pieces of nuggets of information from channeling sessions I'd had with Prince, which by the way, there's a playlist here at Above Life Channel. There's over 36 videos there for channeling sessions with Prince, related to Prince, talking with Prince. There's these little nuggets that start to come to light that, oh, that's what he meant by that. Or, oh my gosh, I like the story that she started to tell that she was telling was familiar to me. Like I understood him, like I knew him. And so when she was talking about him, I felt like, oh yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. And their little nuggets or little pieces of information that he had shared with me that when she spoke about, it made the connection. And I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. My brain is going, oh my gosh, do you know how cool this is? All of these things that I've had, well, just little seemingly random things that come up that he just kind of happens to share that don't seem like a big deal. It seems like a normal part of life experience, you know, like something simple like a smell, a scent, a kind of a fabric, a particular um, color like on a wall or a painting or a clothing or a particular, like especially scent, the smells and stuff. Um, he would share some things and it seemed just like a normal human kind of a detail that you wouldn't really know because all the fans and the public wouldn't know all that stuff, but that he would just share with me and I would just share with you. And that when she would bring things up, I'm like, yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We talked about that. Oh yeah. He mentioned that. Oh yeah. And so it was just such a cool, a beautiful connection. It just really, helped me feel so inspired by the spirit connection and how really even the subtle details of spirit contact are so important and they matter and things that you and I might take for granted in a normal conversation. When you are talking to spirit or channeling spirit and they share with you something that's like a normal part of life and you think it's no big deal, your brain is going, yeah, so what? Everybody does that. It's a very special, perhaps important detail that will help you just to recognize one more, one more time, how truly connected you are and how awesome that is. So I, I was having those moments and really uh, so inspired by her and her story. And so I'm gonna share in this video, also there is on the playlist, the Prince playlist, there is a link to a video that I shared for her, for my taste specifically. It was way back in the spring 2018 and I shared a video for her. And this was again, before I read the book, before, I, I mean, I, I didn't know her perspective specifically. Like, I don't know her. She doesn't know me. We haven't talked. It's nothing like that at all. And way back then, like I knew, like all this stuff was so, like I, I felt, I felt, I feel a connection and very inspired by her strength and her ethic, like work ethic, her integrity, and just her maturity level, considering especially she was such a young person when she met Prince. And so, and then of course, when she talks about in her, in the book, she talks about losing their son and dealing with loss and loss of a child that can't even imagine from her perspective, how intensive that was. But I mean, I cried during that part myself too, for her and as a mom, I just felt so lucky and experiencing miscarriage myself. I know that part of it, I knew how that felt, but I couldn't imagine what her and Prince had went through. And there was a time last um, spring, in the spring of 2018, when I did share that video um, for Maite, I also 
it came on the heels of me being really angry with him. All of a sudden, I just had this, this family thing connection kind of come up with him, um, feeling about like his son. And, and I don't know if it's because somebody asked me about it. People ask me about that stuff all the time and I usually just don't talk about it. I'm like, that's not our business. In public, I don't talk about it. But he and I have had conversations about some of that. And I think it's just like stuff you talk with a friend about that you trust, you know? And so we've kind of talked about some of that. But I was really angry, like in 2018 in that spring. And that must be, and I'm trying to remember, I don't know when exactly the book was released. It must have been released about that time because that would make sense as to why there's an opening and a connection and me feeling a draw to the family of him, you know, him, his son, and my tan. That would be, that would make sense logically in my mind as I'm thinking about this. But so back then I was like mad. I was, I was really mad because I was angry. I was like, how could you treat somebody like this? And I just felt so, and again, remember you guys, I didn't know. I didn't know that he was like, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't know all the details or anything like that about um, the death of their son and except what I maybe could probably try to pull out from my old cobwebs of memory. Remember, I wasn't a big fan, so I didn't really follow his stuff, you know? And so I'm sure there's some of it that I could maybe recall, right? But I, I just all of a sudden got angry. And I was like, I was like angry for her. You know, I was, I was mad and like, how could you treat her like that? And how could you be like that? It's your child and make decisions for her. And I mean, she's not stupid. What, why did you treat her like she was stupid and young? Like I was mad, I was angry. Okay, you guys. And so we had this conversation, he and I, about it. He really didn't, he just took it. He like let me be mad, basically. And he did give me, and I did record some stuff, but I never, I haven't shared it. Um, he did give me some feedback about not trying to defend himself, but to understand at the time what was really going on for him and his perspective. And just reading The Most Beautiful by Maite Garcia, I recognized that when she shared about that really incredible time in her life, just unbelievable pain, I totally felt how she understood that he was just trying to do whatever he thought he could do that would be the best. You know, like he, his intentions were uh, um, kind, like he, he wanted to really protect her. He was such a, like she said, papa bear in her words. And yeah, from the outside world and from me even being kind of understanding some of his dynamics and knowing him as a spirit in the afterlife, it feels like I totally get it, but it doesn't make sense in a human mind. Like it makes you mad. It makes you totally disgusted with him and some of his actions, responses, behaviors. And yet she didn't blame at all. And she didn't... Um, express intense anger or I mean she just really honored her feelings and I thought what a stand for divine feminine what a stand for women really having the respect for yourself honoring yourself reflecting back now at that time in your life and really having just this incredible amount of sage wisdom about it it's so amazing like may I be that strong as she is today I mean oh my goodness I can't even it was incredible. It was incredible. And so it helped to inspire me and my connection with Prince in the afterlife. It has given me some things that it's funny because I wrote some things down in my journal as I was listening because I'm like, oh my gosh, I've seen this and he showed me this image and this is what this means. And now I'm making connections as to what stuff that he I have seen clairvoyantly in my conversations with him, what it means. And some of those gems or those nuggets of seemingly average day-to-day -day living details are really important in where they fit. Like, I totally get it. I'm like, oh my God. Like all this work the last three years are like, oh my gosh, it, things make sense. There's this web of connection and support. And the most important thing I wanna share with you guys is that it's about support, the connection and the support. And so I was gonna tell you, so, so I'm reading the book and, um, I'm trying to remember the first thing. There was one thing that happened right away that was like, oh my gosh, this is crazy, alignment-wise. Um, oh, I remember. 
Woohoo. If you're even watching now because you think I talk too long and I talk too much, so what? We're just hanging out, get some tea and let's sit. Let's chat, right? So so I have a session. I have two clients sessions on Friday. And remember, I am driven. It's a full moon. It's a 13th, which is like a Mayan calendar date, super like goddess, divine feminine, which I love. So it totally makes sense that I'm reading The Most Beautiful by Maite Garcia, of course, right? And it's Purple Friday. And I have two sessions. And I still have to like pick up the kid from school and do the normal, make the dinner and do the walking and exercise. I have to do all the normal stuff, let the dogs out, whatever, right? And I have two sessions and I'm like, oh, okay. So my second session I have, so in between sessions, I'm listening to this book while I'm on the treadmill, while I'm driving to school, while I'm going to the grocery store, I mean, all that, right? And that's why Audible's awesome. Check out the link below. Um, so I... I do my session, my last session, and I'm like ready to be done. It was great to help this woman because she really needed it. Lots of grief, lots of grief. And um, working through stuff. And at the very end of the session, she says to me, so what's this purple magic thing you do? Is it like a, you know, this retreat or whatever? Um, what, what is that? Because she lives in Minnesota, right? And I said, oh, I said, well, it's, it's a Prince thing. It's for Prince fam fans. And I said, I just, I host it for them every year. And I said, I do a lot of channeling for print stuff. And she said, oh, you do? Because she didn't know it. Because I knew this woman from like 10 years ago. And she just contacted me back after she lost um, a really close family member. And so she needed to have connection. And it's been like 10 years since I've chatted with her. So I got to reconnect with her, which was great. But she had no idea that I had a Bub Life channel, that I've been doing channeling. She didn't know about purplemedium.com, the purplemedium.com website or the blog or all the work I've done with the years I've been doing now, a couple last couple years with print stuff. She had no idea. And she said, oh, it's just for prints people? I said, yeah. And then she said, oh, she said, yeah, I haven't been out there for a long time. She's like, when I left there, I was done done with Paisley Park. And I'm like, what? And I was thinking, oh, maybe she worked out there. I said, oh, did you do the tours and stuff? She said, oh no, back in the 90s, during the gold experience, I worked there. I'm like, what? She said, yeah, I worked for Prince. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what? Synchronicity. It's not coincidence, you guys. Synchronicity, alignment. And so we talked for like 10 minutes about her work with Prince and what it was like to be there. And I said, hey, I'm just reading today the book by Maite, you know, his first wife. And she said, oh yeah. She said, oh, she was so, she was so nice. She was always so kind to us because she worked, I don't know if she worked in the costuming wardrobe area or something, but, or merchandising or something, but she were, was there and worked with them and stuff. And so she gave me some scoop, you know, about some stuff. And I thought, huh, interesting. And she said, uh, not either, both of them, but all Prince and Maite were very nice and kind and everything. She said, it was like some of the other people around them that worked for them that were all like, okay, now I'm so important, you know, because I work for Prince. I'm, I'm on the inner circle, so I'm really important now. And she was just kind of like, like this lady I was talking to, it's kind of like eye roll, you know, it's kind of like, oh yeah, you're so important. And then tomorrow you'll be out of here. You know, like she totally knew, like she'd been in their business. So she knew how it kind of worked and stuff with Prince. And so she said, I, I could only handle it for a couple of years and then I was out of there, she said. But during the gold experience, I was there. And so we talked about stuff a little bit. It was just neat. I was like, whoa, mind blown. Like random, did not expect that. Synchronistic alignment you guys so that happened on friday and then so saturday i'm listening to the video or listening to the um, audio and the book and i'm getting ready to go to the soccer game with from one of my kids and i'm going to bring my earbuds so i can listen to while i'm watching soccer game but it got way too emotional for me i was like in the part where um after the baby died and i mean she was talking about i mean it was just i was like I couldn't ha handle it. I connected to it at a personal level when she talked about the miscarriage. And so I had to excuse myself and go and get some tissue from the psychic minivan. You know, it was, that was tough. And, but a very healing, an opportunity for healing. And this is why people, it's important to share your stories, writing or video or blogging. It's important to share your stories. 
because it can help others to give them permission to heal. And it felt, I felt really connected and I'm very grateful for that experience that I had through a book, through an audio book. And so there's that. And then, so then I finally get done, drop the kid, you know, I had to pick up another child from their job and whatever, drop them off and did all this stuff. And so then I'm ready to go home and I know I only have like 10 minutes of the book left. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna listen to the rest of the book. And then I'm just gonna drive home, which is about 30 minutes and I'm just gonna let myself process. So I'm like all ready. Cause I'm thinking, oh, it's kind of sad when a book's gonna end, you know, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of ready. So, but I was like, I wanted to hear more about her life and her beautiful daughter and uh, you know, her perspective and stuff. So I have, cause I have so many clients that have worked with her and that her belly dancing classes and things and have been really inspired by her. and her work with animals and so divine feminine, you guys. She's so divine feminine, just incredibly strong, beautiful, courageous stand for divine, fe I think divine feminine. So I'm listening to the book, it's done. Take a breath and I'm like sad for a minute. It's totally silent in the psychic minivan. It's quiet, it's just me in there. And I'm like, there is nothing but silence. And I'm like, I don't even know what to do with myself right now. How do I even process all this being psychic, knowing the Prince side of it? I'm thinking I gotta talk to him about some of the stuff because I, I just gotta, uh, wow. What do I do? How do I, ha what do I do with all this? All of a sudden I'm ultra connected. Like I'm not just connected kinda, I'm like high speed internet access connected. <laughs> I'm like, wow. And so I let there be quiet for like maybe two minutes. I couldn't stand it. I couldn't stand it after two minutes. So I go, okay, I'm gonna turn on the radio. I need to kind of clear my mind and come back to reality. I'm in this like energetic space. I need to be in human form here and drive the, the damn car, right? Click on the radio. What, what, you, what do you suppose was playing on the radio when I finished the book about Prince and Maite? Okay, what, what song, what, what? Yes, a Prince song. Oh yes, a Prince song was on the radio. And not just any song, but Purple Rain. Purple Rain. It was near the beginning, so I listened to the whole thing. Wow. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, my psychic life. Such connection, such a blessing. At times, yes, overwhelming, the emotion of it, the energy of it, but what a gift. What an incredible gift it has been to be able to communicate with Prince in the afterlife. And then through listening to this audio book, it just really helps to solidify all that I believe for myself and, and our spirit. Being a strong divine feminine woman is something I'm very proud of in my human life. And I'm honored, honored to be in service and in, in especially encouraging, encouraging the spirit of women to be who you are created to be. And this, was, this book was a beautiful, for me, example of that, of all of the things that I work for in my life, in my life's work on purpose. So I wanted to share that with you and I just, I can't even like, yesterday I kept walking around going, I can't believe this. Like I can't even, like I can't even believe that this. this is weird even for me. This is weird even for me. Oh my gosh, no wonder. This is why I probably don't read a lot of books about stuff because it just gets me. I'm just like plugged in and right there, you know, just incredible. And I would recommend the book, whether you're a fan, a fam or not. Okay, and because people who are Prince followers, admirers, fam or fans, they run the gamut, let me tell you, they are very passionate sometimes and sometimes they're very opinionated and have very strong views. <laughs> and that's okay as long as you don't expect me to hold your viewpoint, which a lot of people do, they don't understand, you know, including myself at times, I don't understand how people can be so like, this is the way it is, because that's not the way it is, you know. But I can understand the confusion because Prince was very particular in his human life. And so in the afterlife to, to believe that he's just not like that anymore, it's kind of hard. It's really mind blowing, which is probably why, 
he and I get along so well now because as an afterlife spirit, I give him that leeway. I don't expect him to be how he was in his human life. I ask him questions about that because I see the difference and the conflict between how I feel him now and how people perceive him to be and his human persona. And there are distinct differences and that's how afterlife is. When you're a pure spirit, you don't, you don't attach to the body and hold everything from your last lifetime so, so close to you that that's how you are. You have elements of that so that people recognize you, feel you, understand it's you, but know that you're actually closer to God and an evolved energy, part of the common oneness of love. And that's what, that's where he is and that's where he's coming from. So it takes a little more work for him to actually be translated into his human persona. And I help do that when I do channeling with him. I bring those pieces, I try to bring those pieces in so that it, it makes sense and clicks for people who know him really well as fam, as fans, as admirers. And it's really, it can be really intense though because people who love Prince have a lot of opinions and you cannot please even a third of them on any given Sunday. <laughs> you just can't. And it's not about that anyway, but it's definitely been a journey and an experience. And I would definitely say working with Prince has been a baptism by purple fire or violet flame. Let's say that because of that intensity of people that need him so much and are really are seeking healing through his advisement, his guidance, his spiritual guidance. And that's a role he serves for a lot of people, I guess, as a healer and as a guide. So, so it is. And I guess I'm kind of an employee, <laughs> although I'm not on the payroll directly, which is okay because I like to have my own creative freedom. And yes, I would wear jeans to Paisley Park. And yeah, I, I don't know if I have. I don't know if I have, I may have, but I would wear jeans to Paisley Park. I'm like, hello, it's my creative freedom. I would say it's my artistic expression. That's what I would say to my friend in the afterlife. So this is Bridget. I know this has been a long video. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you have, make sure you share your comments below. And if you have questions as well about this experience with Prince in the afterlife, go ahead and do that. You can go ahead and write your comments there or write your questions there because I do review my comments. I can't reply to all of them, but I definitely view them, you guys. And I think most of you know that. Some of you are like shocked when I respond, but I'm like, hello, I read them. I just can't reply to everybody all the time. Thank you so much for watching here at Above Life Channel. I hope that I've been able to inspire your spirit with our work together, fill you with hope, and it's really, really important for you to remember that this is your life. This is your life. So live it. Just live it. Thanks for watching.